Well, hello and welcome along to yet another Q&A. You join us for the first round of the season here in Warsaw. And who else will we be speaking to other than our world champion, Ty Wiffenden? So how are you doing, Ty? Yeah, good. Looking forward to, to the evening. Um, you know, sold out stadium, 60,000, one off man-made track. So these are always the fun ones sold out stadium is going to make it exciting well talking of fans we have some of your questions so Annie says if you could change one thing in your life what would it be and why um, probably wouldn't change anything like, I'm pretty happy with how everything's gone I guess if I could bring my dad back to to witness like what I've achieved then that would be probably the thing that I'd do but um, I'm no magician so <laughs> that ain't happening Okay, all right. Well, it's good that you were very happy with all of your World Championship titles. They've been pretty special, but we've had a question in, which is your favourite? Favourite was 2013. Um, obviously, like the first one, you know, you don't really know what it's going to be like or what it's going to feel like. And then when you do it, it's like such a shock. And then all the other stuff that happened after that. Um, and then I knew what to expect in 2015 and, and, and moving forward. So, um, yeah, 2013 was for sure the best one. Okay. All right. Well, are you likely to do a season in the UK? I know someone asks you this every single time we speak to you, but are you likely to do a season in the UK before you retire? Um, probably before I retire. Like I don't. I take each year at a time, and um, for sure, there's going to be a time where I want to spend more time at home and, and not go to Sweden on a Tuesday, or um, you know, try and reduce my calendar. And um, I know Russia's opened up for foreign riders to race now, so there's probably six meetings I could do there. And um, I don't know. I, if, I could go, if, every, if it was a set race night and we didn't go home and away twice, I don't know if this, they still even do that. Um, but the problem I've got is every rider that I talk to um, that rides in England says how much they're not enjoying riding the tracks. So that kind of puts me off a lot. Okay, but never say never. Never say never. Okay, all right. That question was from Kev. Mike wants to know what's your favourite speedway track and why? There's lots of what's and why's. Um... That's, that's that's a tough one. Like I enjoy riding Torren. It's such a cool shape, nice banking, um, you know, beautiful stadium. Um, Cardiff, Warsaw, uh, the indoor ones that are man-made, really technical, tricky tracks. Um, uh, yeah, I don't really know. Like it, there's there's so many that I enjoy racing at. It's kind of hard to say. Like I enjoy riding in Zelina Gora because the fans there are absolutely insane, and um, you know nothing really matches the atmosphere there. Um, so, yeah, it's, th th there's, there's too many tracks that I enjoy and <laughs> there's not really any that I don't enjoy. Okay, good. All right, favourite drink? Favourite drink, Monster Energy, the red one, the red can. Good choice. All right, favourite food? Favourite food, anything. I'm, I'm a bit of a chocoholic and I um, uh, like my candy and all my sweet <laughs> stuff. I've got the worst sweet tooth. Like, I, I'll look at the dessert menu before I look at the main menu. So, um, you know, that's why I'm not as anorexic as any of the other boys that race the bikes. So... Okay, favourite country? Um, favourite country, uh, hands down Australia. Like, I compare everything to Perth where I grew up. Um, I shouldn't compare because every country has its own, like, beautiful things. But, um, you know, when you grow up in such a beautiful country, it kind of, like, sets the standard. And um, I haven't been anywhere yet that's, that's matched the, the weather, the way of life, the beaches. So, um, yeah, that's, that's it. Okay, worst creepy crawly then? Uh, I'm not really worried about any of that sort of stuff. Oh, okay, all right. Robert wants to know how many engines that you use during a whole GP season. A whole GP season? Uh, last year, probably five during a GP season, four or five, but um, during a whole season, you're probably looking at like eight. Um, but you rotate them around, like you find stuff that works better on one track and one doesn't work as good on another, so you kind of like you know, chopping and changing a little bit, um, but it's key to have, you know, f at least four that you can jump on and you know you can win races on them all. Okay, now Roy, this is more of a statement of intent. He's saying, I hope you can do it again this year, but do you think you can? Yeah, for sure. Like, over the years, I've, I've learned what my mistakes are, trying to go back to back. Um, I know the added pressure and all that sort of stuff. Already people are saying that I'm going to win it, and um, I believe that I can, but so do the other 16 guys in the championship. Um, but, you know, uh, I know what I can bring to the table. Like I've finished in the top three since 2013. Um, I missed a round in 2014 and ended up having a runoff with Nikki. So um, that shows that my level is is at the top. And um, you know, when when I'm firing on all cylinders, I win the world title. So uh, I'm excited for this year. We've got a lot of tools in the bag, and um, we're not using all of them yet. yet so that's uh, it's only a positive. Okay, more to come. All right, Frederick wants to know. Now, like you said, the field is very strong. 
Freddie and Bartos in particular are quite strong contenders. Is there anyone that you've got your eye on or is everybody just a contender? Uh, it's a world championship, so it's the best 16 riders in the world. And Speedway is the only sport where a junior can beat a world champion or a world-class rider. You look at MotoGP, someone that's just come into Moto2 on not a good ride can doesn't have any chance of, of being at the top. Um, same with F1, like all these other sports. And then you rock up to Poland and you've got a 16-year-old that's on a rocket ship <laughs> and he goes out and like scores 15 points. So um, you have to keep that in mind. Like, you know, you, everyone's only human and you can only do the best of you like what you can do but sometimes you know when you're in a position on the track or how you start goes there's just so many variables in our sport um you know you, you just got to watch everybody so for me you know everyone can beat me but i'll do my best to beat them all okay and looking ahead to tonight it's going to be an epic night an epic way to start 2019 we're sold out it's a massive stadium so are you ready oh 100 percent. this is one that i look forward to um and you know the the target is to just go out, enjoy my bike, enjoy riding my bike, um, and score some points. Hopefully reach the semis. If we get to the semis, then we'll focus on the final. And um, you know, just uh, one race at a time, one day at a time. We just cruise. All right, we'll see you a bit later on. Thanks, Ty.